prepping the area. Step two, edging the area. There are two options. You can either edge the area using tantalized timber secured with timber battens, like we're doing here, or alternatively, use a decorative edging block with an internal concrete haunch. Step three, sub base. Roll out the weed and cut to fit the area. You'll then need to use an MOT type one. Rake this out evenly across the full area. Compacting two Step four, bedding layer. The bedding layer can be made up of either sharp sand or granite dust, dependent on your own requirements. Fill the screed and compact until it's flush with the edge restraint. Step five, weed membrane. You'll then need a second layer of weed membrane. The membrane also makes it easy to get the artificial grass into place. Step 6. Installing artificial grass. Before you install your artificial grass, it's always recommended to leave it unwrapped and unrolled for 2-3 to three hours to let it settle. The pile should be dark green in colour when facing towards the property or main viewpoint. Step 7. Cutting the grass. Always ensure that when measuring up, you take into consideration an additional 5 cm of grass on all sides. This leaves enough material to create the perfect edge. Use a sharp knife to trim the grass. Always make sure you cut through the latex backing cloth and not the grass itself to give a better finish. When you're happy, fit the grass to the edge restraint using pan head screws every 150 to 200 mm. Step 8. Joining artificial grass. Start by making the cut to your join by removing 2 to 5 rows of stitches from both pieces of grass. This will leave you with a much neater seam. Position the first piece of grass loosely over the weed membrane. Then position the second piece of grass next to the first, ensuring the pile runs in the same direction. Carefully move the rolls into position until the joint is no longer visible. Once you're happy with this position, roll back the edges of the grass and lay always green joining tape along the joint. The tape should be shiny side down. Use a cartridge gun to apply always green adhesive onto the joining tape in an even zigzag fashion. Join the two pieces of grass together and press down onto the tape to spread the adhesive. Step 9. Finishing touches. Infill the grass to give it stability by using 5 kilograms per meter squared of silica sand. Use a stiff or mechanical brush to evenly distribute the sand to ensure no excess appears on the surface of the lawn. For more information, 